this episode of The Silburn Show, the Solution-Oriented Summit, creating a platform for effective discourse, seeking solutions and impacting actions, tackling knife and gun crime in our community. Let it not be our legacy. With your host, Silburn Sidiel and Stefan Gislain. With Yisrael Emmanuel on the King's Peace Treaty. My name is Lyndon Wissart, author of the book The Inspired Diabetic. I reversed my type 2 diabetes in 105 days naturally. In my book, I'll tell you exactly how I done it, the journey, and my story. No sugar coating. I provide a recipe for success. Visit my website, theinspireddiabetic.com, and visit all good bookshops to get a copy today. Have all your favourite Caribbean produce delivered from back a yard straight to your door. Ebony Status Caribbean Produce Home Delivery Box Service is here and we aim to carry the load of your weekly shopping. We select and deliver to you the finest fresh produce including Jamaican sweet potato, yam, okra, breadfruit and more. You can expect to be delighted with the quality, value and price but above all our service. Order online today at www.ebonystatus.com or call Call 7 897 Ebony Status Caribbean Produce from back a yard straight to your door. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And how are you today? Awesome. awesome. It's a beautiful summery day. It's like we are in hot Jamaica. You know, um, we're at the Jamaica Basic School Foundation, whereby every year at this time they've got this massive event uh, a day before the independence of Jamaica, which is 6th of August. So therefore, what we decided is that this time what we're going to do is to have, instead of just the food and the party and, uh, and just the, the niceness, we're going to talk about something very serious, which is knife and gun crime. Right. It is something which is affecting the UK community within the black community, not just black community. And what we have said is that this is a second one whereby it's talking about tackling, tackling knife and gun crime in our community. Let it not be our legacy. And I've got Mr. Stefan Gislain. Stefan, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm well, doing Stephen, good. Stefan, we you. had the first one on June the 30th. Yes. Um, explain a bit what is the SOS. The SOS is pretty much a platform where we focus more on solutions you know what we can bring into communities to find where we can better the education system and also all kind of different departments we can actually influence in. and the last summit we had we really we really i think hit on the real issues we had safe and inside we came with the low perspectives yes. was very concrete very substantial we had the former superintendent police officer commander yes. lira logan we gave us a little bit of the understanding of the police, what the police is doing, and the type of uh, imp implementation they they thinking of bringing on board. Yes. But what I really like about the last summit was about the fact that the the the, the, the audience was engaging with us. Yes. You know, we we spoke to them. They actually spoke to us. They gave us stuff that we needed to hear in terms of solutions. And we put up that we, we we had a board out there that we gave them the type of solution that they wanted us to have. And we're thinking now, what can we do to implement them so that we can bring a change? So I think that this one now is another opportunity that we have to actually keep on pressing on this issue we've been having for the past couple of, yeah. let's say, year. And we can see youngsters uh, unleashed. We don't know what is wrong with them. We know what is going on. And a lot of people say the government is not doing enough. But we also have to look at in terms of community. What are we doing to help? And so you're talking a bit more like taking control. Taking control, 100%. Own it. 100 percent and that is why I'm, I, I like the, the fact that we got the king Peace tree because come on board we also have one team of paul mckenzie who's also doing a fantastic work where we have a also religious people or pastors who actually want to get involved into because we've been praying for church what the church is doing and we actually can see that the church is actually getting concerned yes. they want to be part of this of this movement but we we just not talking about just the black communities it's also the within the uk itself because we also see the white community is also going for it. We also see the Asian community is also going for it. But it is true, the black community, the community is the one that is more affected by it. Yeah. And we have a lot of factors that we have to look at. And I think this summit is going to be able to address is these issues and come up with the solutions. Fantastic. Thank you, Stefan. No problem. My name is 
um, Israel Emmanuel. And I've written this thing called the King's Peace Treaty. Um, how the King's Peace Treaty came about was, um, and I remember, I don't know if you remember, but two years ago, there was um, Philando Castell, Castell and Orton Sterling, they got killed by the police in America. One of them was with their, um, 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 with their, with, with his girlfriend and his children, and the other one was with, I think, I think he was selling cassettes or something like that. And then obviously um, the killing of Mark Duggan, and I got my brethren Roger Sylvester that got killed by the police. These things kind of um, gird me to think. How come as a nation we always make people want to just violate us, and we just stand up and we don't do nothing about it? So something came out. I said, you know what? I want to do something about this to tell the honest truth. Because if we don't do something about it, it's going to keep on happening like it's normal. And our children are going to grow up and see that these things are happening to us. And it's like it's just a normal occurrence. This is, this is allowed to happen to us. So then what happened? I realized to myself, if, even if I did something, yeah, my own black brother would kill me. You get what I'm saying? My own black brother from, from where I come from, I come from in Tottenham, my own black brother could come and kill me. My mum would have to bury me. My family would have to bury me. And it's nothing. You get what I'm saying? So as a people, we look at like these kind of things like it's nothing. And I thought, nah, that's mad. So what I did now, I must have, I must have went on um, social media. I said, you know what? Tottenham man need to link up. Hackney man need to link up. Brixton man need to link up. Stonebridge man need to link up. Man from Tivoli Garden need to link up. Man from Rima, man from Jungle, man from Brooklyn, man from New York, man from um, 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 Baltimore. We all need to link up. We should have a treaty. And when I said it, the love that I got back was mad. Everyone saying, yeah, that's a good idea. If we all linked up, how would that look? That would be brilliant. And then I said, rah, we need a treaty. But there wasn't no treaty. So I said, if I don't write the treaty, there's not going to be a treaty. So I wrote the treaty. And then from I wrote the treaty now, that blew up another level. People are feeling the treaty. No matter where I go, I get love with the treaty. They used to love the treaty, but how are we going to make the treaty work? So I'm going to do, I'm going to read the treaty. The King's Peace Treaty. I will never put no European ge geographical landmark before my brother. When anyone comes as a stranger from a neighboring area, I will embrace him and treat him like a king. I will not go in any man's area and promote violence in protest to promote my area. When I see a black man on the street, I will hail and acknowledge him in respect of the suffering we and our ancestors have faced for centuries. I will look at no black man as less than a king. I will look at no black woman as less than a queen because the black woman is the mother of all civilization and we must protect her. I will link up with every man from every ends to build my people and to build a better earth for our future generations. So that was a treaty. So I put the treaty out and like I'm getting mad love about the treaty. So I'm just gonna um like one word that I realized that um kind of got to me, like us as a people, it's like we don't respect each other, like like all right. What happened to me? I, I was I was on an estate, yeah, and I was talking to one you and I was going to him because what I do. I speak to people and I ask them how they think it could work because I haven't got all the answers, in it. So I ask them how I think it could work. So I said, bruv, how do you think we could link up and become one? He goes, bruv, I don't even know if that can happen, you know. Then he gave me a um, scenario. He goes, if I was sitting on a bus, because this brother, when you see the man tonks, muscles, and you can see that he's a man that can defend himself differently. So when I'm speaking to him, he said to me, if I was to sit on a bus, I sit on a bus, and any other race, like a white man could sit next to me, I don't feel no way. An Indian man could sit next to me, I don't feel no way. Um, a Turkish man could sit next to me, I don't feel no way. But as soon as a black man sits next to me, the whole of my insides rise up. How am I going to deal with this brother? If this brother look at me funny, how am I going to deal with him? And that was one of the things that I realized. As a people, there's a level of content, contempt and disrespect for our one another. We can... We, we, we respect other, every, other, every other nation in a kind of sense, but our own nation, we will fight. Like, you can, you, you can bounce a black man and he's, he's, ready, to, he's ready to war with you. As, as a, a, next na a next nation man bounce you, 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 you can accept that. Why is that? I, I, that's a question I'm throwing out because I don't want to be the one to, to be talking all the time. I'm throwing out that question. Why is that? 
Okay. Personally, you know me, I can't answer that question, right? But I know, you know, I used to run a, a mentoring group for boys. And what they used to say to me is, if they're walking down the road, and the next black youth is walking towards them, right, they feel this, they feel this tension until the black youth walk past them, right? Being a man, we the same color, same race. So I could never understand this. And even the boys, even the boys in the group couldn't understand this as well. There's a tension. Right? And I don't know why. Because when I was growing up, that, that never happened. All right, we, we, we used to go into, 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 um, into youth group, whatever. It might be the odd fight. And it might hit you with, 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 with like a pool stick, whatever. But there's never any tension. You know? But sometime, sometime again, it's us, you know, because I remember once I was walking on Tottenham Court Road. And a black man walked towards me. I said, hello. And, fir and the first thing I did was open up defense. Like, who are you? Do I know you? Right. And he said, look, we are brothers. Right, right. Don't be as scared. Don't be as scared. We're the same people. So even high, as a big man, had this tension. Right. And, and I don't know why, but I talked to him for about five minutes and he explained himself to me. Well, if all of us walk down the road and say hi to our brothers and sisters, then there wouldn't be this tension. But I don't know why the young youth nowadays, I, I don't know what the answer is. Why the young youth, they, 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 they got this tension. You know what I mean? So that's all I got to say, really. Yeah, thanks for the input. And that's what I, that's what I see as well. I see, like, with our own, with our own, yeah, there's a level of, like, all right, it's like, as well, we've got a thing, I don't, I, I, I stand to be corrected as well, yeah? Like, if, 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 if there's a man in our community and, 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 and he's got money, we we'll respect him more than a youth that doesn't have money. So like, for instance, where a problem is on the streets today, yeah, the men that might be making the money and they might be making money illegal, these are the people that the youths might respect and look up to. That's a problem. Because that is where um, us as a people now, courts, police, and all these people now can come and take advantage of us because, and don't get me wrong, I'm coming from the streets. I'm coming from deep in the streets. When I'm talking, I'm talking from a, um, a place where I know. You understand? I was a youth that um, I used to get arrested every week. Every single week, my mum has a youth at the come police station to take me out of the police station. You know what I'm saying? And I know how these youths think when they see an older and as they see an older man and he's making enough money, they'll look to that man and think, right, you know what, I want to be like that. You understand what I'm saying? And these are the kind of things that are crippling our community. So tell me now, um, Stefan, regarding the, the peace treaty yeah. and like these postcodes, um, I said earlier that the youths have somewhat claimed these postcodes. Now, how can the postcodes distinction be demoralized or even to be destroyed one of the ways i think it can um get demoral demoralized is if us as a i think black men elder men come together and start building like for instance i was talking to the man from victoria mutual and he was saying that um they're investing in people that are um building their own like um like, you know, like when you see a lot of these people and when you're driving around, you're seeing a lot of these constructions and they're building these new buildings. They're, these are the things that us as elders, as big men, we need to come together and build these things so the youths then will see, rah, big men are doing something constructive. Because individually, we can't make it. As a collective, we can make it. So these are the ways that I can see, like, the postcode thing. Because no, none of the youths them... None of the youths them are actually, none of the youths them own the um, postcodes that they claim to be in. Oh, you mean that they, they don't own anything? They don't own anything. Within these postcodes? Yeah, so if we become owners, then they would understand what it means to own things and they would respect the thing different. Until we start owning things, these postcodes are, the, are going to be the things that these youths are going to be always thinking that they control. You get what I mean? Okay, well, good. Um, any, any last word that you want to wrap up with? Um, yeah, there is some last words. If I be honest, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, um, 
this gentleman here. Mr. Curran, yes. Yeah, big man. When man's talking, brother, you have to you, you have to pay attention because these 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 these, these things are very very serious, bro. We this is what I'm saying about us. We have to learn how to respect each other. You understand what I'm saying? The respect. We, the, you see, as black people, if we don't learn how to respect each other, these are where violations come in, because a man feels like he's been violated, and a man's gonna act on the violation. A man feels that violation, like that violation stays there. You get what I'm saying? We don't violate. We don't. We don't act any kind of other funny way with under, uh, with, un, with with any other nation. We behave ourselves around every other nation. But when it comes to our own people, bruv, we act up. Yeah, everyone is important, whether big or small. Look, the white man ain't no more important. No white man ain't no more important than Selborne right here or any you that you see on the road. We have to respect the thing, fam. Hundred percent. Because everybody out there is important. Everybody, doesn't matter who you are, we're all important. And the last thing I want to say is, um, you see how we, is value and respect coming back to that point. You see us as a people, if we start to learn how to value and respect each other, if a you, if a you, if a youth's blood gets shed, if a youth's blood gets shed, yeah, the whole of our community should turn our back on the person that shed that person's blood. I don't care whether you come from TG, you're the baddest man in Rima jungle. You come from New York, you come from Tottenham, Brixton, you're the baddest man. I do not care. You, you shed a youth's blood, everybody in the community turn their back on that youth. Because the blood that is shed on the floor is, if we don't respect ourselves, no nation on the planet or the earth is going to respect us. And because we disrespect each other, that's why people can come in and feel like they can disrespect us. Stefan, uh, sorry, um, Israel, mm. you, you keep mentioning the word disrespect. Mm. And uh, when you watch some of the videos out there uh, with the young people at times, mm. they talk about their picture going on Snapchat and they're feeling disrespect. Mm. So it seems that disrespect is something which is a crucial thing. It's within, a big thing in the, in the, in the, with, the youths. with the youths. You see this disrespect thing, the least is disrespect you can get shot. Least disrespect is going to bring an argument. A little simple little thing, can st a little simple, like even I'm going to be honest with you. I'm speaking and my man's looking out the window and them kind of things. I'm going to be totally honest with you. If I feel like you're disrespecting me, I'm going to hold that disrespect and feel it for a long time. I'm going to see you again. And then something's going to happen. I'm going to think, rah, who's this man feel like he's violating? And then before you know it, there's an argument. And that argument turns into something that's bigger than it should be and it's just a little and this is us as a people that there's a, that level of insecurity but can i say this then but maybe maybe each person owns the the whole aspect of disrespect because one can deem to be feel disrespect when actually one is not being disrespected and but then and then as a result of that the person who feels being violated weren't even violated in the first place so therefore isn't that the responsibility then is upon each individual to actually diffuse the situation. Yeah. All right, then. I don't know if I'm answering the um, question properly, yes. but I don't feel, I feel like if a man's disrespecting somebody, the feel, yes. you see that, it, there's a deep down feeling that every human being, you see like when someone respects you, you feel it. You see when someone doesn't respect you, you feel it. This is how the almighty has made us as human beings. Yes. Bro, we've been disrespected by How can I say it? We've been disrespected by, for instance, England, where they've come, come to our countries, robbed us, stole us, robbed our gold and robbed our silver and all these kind of things. We take it. You get what I'm saying? But when it comes to our own people, we don't take no disrespect, bruv. I don't think that's right. Okay. All right. Well, Israel, I want to thank you so much. Thank and I'm um, on that point there. Uh, very crucial what you said mm. and regarding the peace the king peace the king's treaty. peace treaty uh so where can people find the king peace treaty we're on um the instagram um the king's peace treaty and facebook king's peace treaty but we're going to be um we've got saturday saturday and sunday schools that we're working on um king's peace treaty school of force so look out for that my brethren i don't know if he's about can i just quickly just show him my brethren's book one yes. second my brethren, Chris Sibia, has got a book called The Product of My Environment. Yes. Yeah, this is, um, we're, all one, we're all one. We're just building and building and building. So, yeah, we're just trying to um, build that air. Okay, fantastic. Well, sir, thank you for your time, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank sir. You, thank you, thank awesome. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silvern Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comments, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.